Hi everyone, happy new year. Hope everyone's 2023 is off to a good start. Um, I spent the holidays up in Canada skiing with some friends. We didn't want to go too far, so we decided to check out Mont Tremblant, which is about two hours outside Montreal in Quebec, Canada. New York to Montreal is only a two hour flight, but between getting to the airport, TSA lines, potential flight delays, and then still having to drive two hours from Montreal to Mont Tremblant, we figured it would be about the same travel time door to door, and that way I didn't have to go carry on only. Mont Tremblant is located in French Canada, so everyone here speaks Quebecois. The resort is located in the Laurentian Mountains and has an elevation of 2,800 feet. There are over 100 runs spread across 754 skiable acres. On our first day, I got there early to rent equipment. Unfortunately, we chose the busiest week of the year to visit between Christmas and New Year's, and it was packed at 8 a.m. in the morning. I hate crowds, so honestly, I recommend coming here any other time of year, like literally any other week. Um, I think I've just been spoiled by mostly skiing midweek. I could not believe how long the lift lines were. If you arrive early enough and get a parking space in P1 on the south side, take the cabriolet, the little gondola, up to reach the base area. There's a sales office here where you can book your rentals, lessons, lift tickets, everything you need. They even let you rent clothing here, which I thought was nice. Um, not all mountains do that. And then head across the street to the Adventure Center to actually pick up your rentals. Um, right outside is the learning area. That's where you would meet your instructor if you book lessons. They offer morning and afternoon lessons. Morning ones are a little bit more expensive and they offer both group and um, privates as well. And they even have an in, like a complete intro beginner to skier lesson. Um, so you can try that if you've never been skiing or snowboarding before. It was all a little confusing and chaotic, honestly, um, because it was such a busy day. So I recommend pre-booking everything before your trip. You'll save about 10% that way and they definitely won't run out of availability if you do that. Mont Tremblant is also on the Icon Pass. From the base area, um, there's two ways to get up the mountain. There's the gondola that takes you straight to the top or a lift called Flying Squirrel, which takes you about midway. And then if the gondola line is really long, like it was on our visit, you can ride Flying Squirrel first and then take the TGV or TGV lift and also get to the summit that way. So there's kind of like two different routes and basically everything convenes at the top of the mountain. Mont Tremblant is mainly split into Nord et Sud, or like North and South. Um, and here's where my basic high school French class came in handy because a lot of the trails and signs are in French. First day was super icy, super rainy. I have never had my goggles get completely iced up like that. Um, so if you have any tips on how to prevent that, let me know. And as for where to stay, uh, we stayed right on Lac Superior in a condo. It was really nice, clean, cozy. Um, this is a little tour of our one bedroom. We have a little storage area for coats. And then this is the kitchen. Got some groceries before we arrived. And then we have a really nice bathroom, a nice big tub. Just a simple bedroom. It was really cute. They left chocolates for us. And then hopefully we will have a nice sunrise tomorrow. Oh, it's one of those see-through <laughs> shower situations. And I really like the fireplace. Um, it's always handy to have laundry and a kitchen. And I didn't realize this, but we were actually much closer to the north side of the mountain. So on day two, we drove straight to the north parking lot. I have a feeling mostly locals go here because the parking lot was much emptier and Google Maps like will direct you to the main entrance at the south. So try the north side. Um, the weather was gorgeous on the second day. I got up early enough that I caught the tail end of sunrise, which was amazing. Um, yeah, it was just a really nice ski day. Uh, always makes the mountain more pleasant when you can see where you're going. 
Um, as for runs, I really liked Lowell Thomas and Rope Toe. Those are two blues. Because the entrance of Lowell is kind of only accessible if you get off Duncan Lift, the top part of the run doesn't get skied as much and it's nice and fresh. Um, and when you're looking at the north side of the mountain, the easiest runs start at the left and they get a little steeper as you move across the mountain. Um, and in general, the north side's a bit less crowded, so I stuck to that side. I grabbed burgers and beers at La Diabla, it's like a pub um, right in the middle of the base area. And Tremblant has a really cute European style village, it's very colorful, really quaint, um, which makes it unique among most ski resorts, especially on the East Coast. There's a ton of restaurants, tons of shops, um, and things to do here. So if not everyone in your group wants to ski from first chair to last, they can hang out here um, and they won't get bored while they wait for you. Uh, we were pretty impressed with the food too, you know, sometimes ski town food is, is not always great, but everything we tried was pretty good. Um, try the chocolate at Rocky Mountain, grab some wine at Sac, uh, there's beaver tails with ice cream, which are like a nice little treat, and maple taffy on snow is like a local dessert, um, and there's even like a ceramic store for arts and crafts. You wait 45 seconds. Timer there. I was going to get to 50. 5-0 on the timer. Maybe roll it around your stick. Okay. Good? Thank you. I'm glad we had one great weather day because the last couple days were just rain. I think it rained across like the whole of North America that week. Um, just super wet, really thick fog, uh, especially up higher on the mountain, but we still had a great time. Once you get a feel for like the layout, it's just much easier to orient yourself even with low visibility. And if you're intermediate, um, there's some easier blocks to try like Superior and Jay on the north side and McCullough and Kandahar on the south side. And if you're a beginner, um, La Crete is a really nice, long, easy green from summit to base. Oh, just got done for the day. Couldn't make it until 3.30. I think it's like 2.30. Oh my god, I feel destroyed. Um, it was a nice day. It was super foggy, super rainy. I couldn't see a thing. But um, I ended up trying out a couple of the blacks. And because you can't see anything, you can't see how steep it is. So you can't get scared. Oh, my hair is like a rat's nest. And I'm very wet. And I'm very tired. And yeah, I'm gonna go back to our condo and uh, we'll probably grab some dinner and then uh, we made spa appointments for tomorrow. I heard the Scandinavian spa is good so I'm gonna do that. Should be good for our muscles so I'm very excited.
and on my last day i was planning to check out the edge um, a local told me about it it's all the way well on like the edge of the north side um, it's got tree skiing and what makes it different is they have green and blue tree skiing runs so i wanted to give that a shot especially after big skies tree run attempt um, but unfortunately it was closed tremblant does have terrain parks though um, there's three two were open when we visited so my friend and i tried them out we had a lot of fun uh, start out on Sissy on the north side. It's the freestyle park. It's very beginner friendly and it leads into these rolling hills at Fuddle Duddle, which was probably our favorite thing to keep running over and over again. There's also a progression park on the south side um, near Alpine Trail. Adrenaline Park is the like the larger module, more advanced one, which we did not try. Last run, last day. Um, it is so wet today. It's been raining nonstop. I feel like my clothes are soaked. My gloves are definitely waterlogged. I could probably wring them out. They're so wet, um, but it was so fun. It was really empty today, I think because it's um, so gray and foggy and rainy, but um, I also checked out the progression parks, which were pretty fun. They're definitely like small, um, but there's two, one on each north and south side. And um, one has like the little, I don't, I don't know anything about like what these are called, but one has the, like the jumps and then the other has like the rails. Um, so I did the rail one more. That was, that was really fun. And yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I can feel like the cold seeping through to my bones. And yeah, overall great ski trip. Um, our muscles were really tight. So we ended the trip on a relaxing note and went to the Scandinavian spa. It was another recommendation from a local. It was fantastic. It's basically like a huge indoor outdoor spa with a series of hot and cold pools. Um, and I love a sauna, steam, hot, ice plunge, like I love it all. So it was a great place to just chill and relax. And then on our way back to the city, we stopped in Montreal. It was a pretty gloomy day and it's New Year's, so not a lot was open, but we did manage to check out a couple food spots. Um, I recommend Cafe Olympico for coffee, St. Viator for bagels, and Short Steli for pastrami sandwiches, especially if you don't have a lot of time, you just wanna grab some things to go. And that's it. We had a really great time at Mont Tremblant. It's a mid-sized mountain with a really nice village um, and just, yeah, really convenient for anyone on the East Coast.